I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Make yourself as comfortable as you can in your seat and close your eyes. Take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, feel your body begin to relax. Now imagine that you are gazing up at the sky and your attention is caught by a bright and vivid rainbow. All of the colors are so clear to see, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You are amazed at the wonder of nature, of how beautiful nature can be, captured right there in this amazing rainbow and you feel yourself drawn to the colors, feeling lighter and lighter and lighter still as you float up towards the rainbow, feeling the brightness of the colors all around you. A wonderful feeling of lightness of being, surrounded by the warm, beautiful, loving, nurturing light of the rainbow. Feel yourself relaxing and expanding your consciousness as you become more confident and energized in every moment that passes. Amazed at how wonderful nature can be amazed at the beauty of the rainbow, a clear and vivid rainbow of light, of colorful, beautiful light. Just relax and enjoy. Now when you're ready, take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, a gentle stretch. Whatever feels comfortable for you right now. You are feeling so energized and confident and peaceful and you are ready to enjoy a wonderful day. True kindness is being nice to other people even if they can't pay you. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today we're going to be talking about kindness. Yeah, kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. Yeah, and the fruit of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And yeah, so we're talking about kindness today, and kindness is, is pretty much just being being nice to people. But it's more than that. It's, it's being nice to everyone even if they can't pay you back for it. And here's here's kind of what I mean by that. So I've, I've got this friend at school. Well, I call him my lunch friend. He's not really like my friend friend. He's my lunch friend. And and his name is Justin. And I call him my lunch friend because, well, at lunch he comes over and he sits down and we, we hang out and he tells jokes and he laughs at my jokes and he, he says nice things to me. And, you know, he's just a really, he's a really good friend. 
But not even every day at lunch is he a good friend. Sometimes at lunch, he doesn't even come talk to me. And, and a lot of times, mostly at school, if we're not in the lunchroom, he's, he's not talking to me at all. And I could not understand why he was only my friend on certain lunch days. And then finally, I realized he's only my friend on cookie day. Yeah, so my mom, she makes these delicious cookies, okay? And sometimes she'll send me a couple cookies in my lunchbox. And on cookie day, Justin will come over and he'll hang out with me and he'll, you know, be friends with me and, and he'll be a really nice guy. And, and then he'll always somehow in the conversation, he'll trade me something for one of my cookies. So Justin is only my friend so that he can get a cookie. Now, don't get me wrong. These are delicious cookies, but that's not cool. That's not a real friend. God wants us to be nice to everyone, even if they can't pay us back. And so I thought, well, he's not really my friend, so I'm not going to give him any more cookies. Because I thought I wasn't going to be his friend unless he was going to be my friend. God loves everyone. And if we love God, then we'll love everyone too. Because God does. That's what God wants for us. He says, love God and love other people. That's what we're supposed to do. Show kindness to everyone. Not because we want something from them, but because God loves them. And we should too. So if I say, I'm only going to give my friendship to someone who gives their friendship to me, how am I any better than Justin? You know, he was my friend. He was saying nice things and, and he was hanging out with me and spending time with me and all that stuff just to get a cookie. And sometimes I think I'm only friends with people so that they will be friends with me because I want a friend. And man, though, it can be really hard to be nice to people who aren't nice to you in return. But if you are a Christian, if you have the Holy Spirit living inside you and, and you are living according to the Spirit, then you will be kind. Even the people who call themselves your enemy. So I decided that I'm still going to give Justin cookies. Yeah, if he comes over and he sits down next to me and he wants to talk, because just because he wants cookies, I'm, you know, I'm going to give him cookies. And maybe I might just give a cookie to him next time instead of trading him for something that he's got. So my challenge to you guys is this. Um, I want you to think about all the different people that you see in your daily life. You know, whether you see people at school or at home or at church or just, you know, out doing errands with your mom and dad or wherever you are and whatever people you meet, I want you to think about each individual person. That might be kind of hard. There might be a lot of people, but I want you to really, really sit down and think about the different people that you see in your life. And I want you to ask yourself if you are being kind to them. And if the answer is no, then you definitely need to work on that. You should be kind to everyone. And if the answer is yes, you are being kind to them, I want you to ask yourself another question. I want you to ask yourself, why? Why are you being kind to them? Because if your answer is, I'm nice to them because they're nice to me, or you say, I'm nice to them because my mom says I have to be, then I think it's time to check your heart, to check and see if you are spending enough time with God and if you're living the way God wants you to. Because one of the best ways to tell if an apple tree is an apple tree is to see if it's got apples on it. And so if you want to be able to tell if you are living according to the Spirit of God, see if you're being kind to people. And if you're not, or you are being kind to people just so you get something from them, then you need to spend more time with God. God loves everyone. And God wants us to show everyone love too. God wants us to show His kindness to everyone that we meet. Even if they're mean to us, God wants us to show kindness to them. And yeah, that is very difficult. But the Holy Spirit living inside you, if you are a Christian, the Holy Spirit is living inside you. God lives in you. You are God's temple. And God can help you to be kind. So let's all work really hard to show God's kindness to everyone, even if they can't pay us back.